Hey there, everybody. I'm Nate Eaton. And I'm Caitlin Hart. And we're in the East Idaho News newsroom. You know, a few weeks ago, we posted a story on East Idaho News about a new uh, shopping site app called Temu. What's Temu? Uh, Temu? It's spelled T-E-M-U. Yeah. I assume that's what it is. It's like an online superstore. It kind of reminds me of Amazon, but everything is very cheap. Very cheap, and it actually surpassed, after they did an ad in the Super Bowl, it surpassed Amazon and Walmart in number of app downloads. I checked yesterday and it was still number one. So you look at the prices and you actually, we're gonna be honest here, think it might be a scam or- it's possible. <laughs> yeah, you, you're like, how in the world could it be this cheap? And how in the world, like, what were the, some of the coupon, the offers that they were? So I got on there and it had me spin like a wheel for a discount and it told me that I would get 13 free things if I bought three things. Yeah. And so <laughs> of 15, 16 things I bought, 10 of them were free. So we'll see what's in this bag. And, <laughs> and I got an $80 off, I think $130 yeah. purchase with a free gift. So we shopped, <laughs> Caitlin shopped, <laughs> I shopped, I bought 25 items and they've they've arrived. Now, and you, how many items did you buy? You, I you bought, said you bought 13. 13 uh, three items are not here, but the ones that I paid for with real, actual money that weren't free are here. Okay, <laughs> so, so 13 she, of them are here. She got a bunch of free stuff just a few days ago. I got mine, I have not opened mine yet because we wanted to do it here because so many of you, the the, the story we posted about Timu, Timu, became our most clicked on story ever in East Idaho News history. So crazy. Millions <laughs> of people clicking on this story and probably downloading the app. So we wanted to test it out for you in case you should decide. I wanna make it clear, this is not a commercial. We're just, we just ordered stuff and um, I ordered 25 random items. I don't even remember what I ordered here. I will always take the opportunity to online shop. So. Yes. Okay, so <laughs> mine came in two packages. I'm still missing two things. Okay. One was a, a, like an Apple Watch cover that I think was like $3, something insane like that. Uh, it was, oh, sorry, no, it was 1078. Um, it's a smart, it was actual, uh, actually a smart watch activity tracker that looks like an Apple watch. So it's an actual watch. It's an watch. actual watch, okay. smart watch for 10 bucks. Wow. That hasn't arrived yet. And <laughs> I hope this is in here, a cat water fountain and food bowl. <laughs> I have no cats. I figured many of you do. That was $5.48. Anyway, Caitlin, show us what you, All right. go through your stuff while I open up these. Okay, so one of the first things I got was these big hair clips because I'm always looking for them and I paid $0.00 and zero cents for them. So they actually came, they look pretty good. I mean, they look like I would find these at like H&M or yeah. Outfitters or something. I haven't actually seen if they work because sometimes you open them and they break, but. And I mean, you said those were free. These are free. And do you know what those would have cost like in a store? Oh my gosh, like, let's see, how many are there in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got three of them for $15 at Target. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> so this would probably be like close to 30 bucks, but totally works and they're super cute. So I can just throw my hand out in the morning. Okay. But another thing that I got is a knockoff of the Marc Jacobs tote bags. And if you know what I'm talking about, these things are leather and they're like hundreds of dollars. I paid, I believe, $19.39 for this. It came and it is leather, <laughs> which is interesting. Is it real? No. It's very painted on, <laughs> which I mean, <laughs> it doesn't look bad. And this is what the actual one looks like. How much Jacob's does it one. retail for? Like hundreds of dollars, like $300. And, and this, was this was $19. There's also multiple sizes. This is the small version. And so there was a large version I could have gotten, but I was scared. So, so are you gonna one. use this? I think I could definitely use it. It comes with like a long strap too. You can attach to it. So it can be like a whole kind of tote bag situation. And huh. obviously it doesn't have like the Marc Jacobs like signature on the inside or whatever. But I mean, it looks good to me. It's, it's a bag I can use, which yeah. is super cool. I thought that was really awesome. Um, uh, that was, yeah, 1939. That's okay. crazy. Yeah, if you're into name brand stuff. One of the things we noticed on Temu, oh, actually you have the shirt. The uh, shirt. Yes, I do. Okay, <laughs> okay. Well, I, won't, I won't explain it until she shows you. But okay. some of the clothing, you can tell that it's a mimic of, um, of name brand stuff like this. This was very clear on there. <laughs> so. <laughs> it's a broken Nike swoosh, <laughs> which we assume is some kind of loophole around a copyright is yeah. what I would think. And it, I mean- It's soft. It is a soft shirt. I don't know what the material is. It just it's says It's polyester, large. Oh, okay, I so believe. it's not cotton. So I also got a hoodie and I checked the 
material on that, and that is 100% polyester, and it feels the exact same as this. Yeah. So I'm assuming it's all kind of the same idea. But and how much was the shirt? The shirt was zero dollars and zero cents. So this was free. <laughs> so this one was also free. And it's really soft. I got this for my boyfriend and he was sad I had to bring it to work because he wanted to wear it to the gym. <laughs> you can wear it tomorrow. He can wear it tomorrow. Yeah. And so, I, I mean, he was totally into it. He was like, yeah, that's totally something I'll wear. The size is good too. This is a large. And, and you it, know what? It's It might even be trendy. The, the broken Nike swoosh, people might be like, oh, that's cool. And this is like not even just stuck on, like it's actually it's in actually the shirt. Printed, yeah. It's printed in the shirt. I think it was pretty nice. That was one of the coolest ones. Do you want to do one of yours? Or do you uh, yeah, yeah well, look, I mentioned that cat bath a minute ago. It looks like it came. Wow. So I don't know what a cat bath would normally go for. Mary, any idea? You like animals. Cat bath? It's like in the shape of a heart. Okay, anyway. Ducks or something maybe? Okay, that's it. That's what we paid. $5, I think, $5.48, yeah. And it, it, it stacks, but um, there's that. We're gonna save probably a lot of these for the East Idaho News Christmas party as prizes. Great. So we've got that, we've got... Um, Do any of us have cats? You have a cat? Okay. Uh, we've got these. These are slippers. <laughs> <laughs> and these, they smell. I uh, can smell them from here. That was another thing is when I opened this bag, it yeah. smelled like chemicals. <laughs> $2.59 for these. I, paper. <laughs> yeah, I would have not paid that. I would have got these at the dollar store for maybe a dollar. Okay, but I also got slippers. Let me see. And I dare to say, mine are better quality. They're actual. Oh, like, and they're actually, they have a uh, soul. Yeah, they actually have a real soul. They're yellow. I need to go find some shag carpet to walk around <laughs> on top of. But they're cool. Were and those free too? These were, I believe, yeah, these were also free. <laughs> so these are, I mean, pretty good quality. There's obviously like some strings coming off and stuff, but okay. I'll wear them. This is an alligator game, but look, it's broken. Oh no. So that's not gonna work. I don't know how to play this unless it's, I'm assuming that's Chinese. I think so. Mandarin Yeah, writing. it says made in China on the side. Yeah, um, this is a game that you play that I cannot use. Now they do say free returns. Maybe I'll return this, but yeah. Uh, so not, not impressed with that. This was, um, let me find the price. I don't know, probably. Oh, this was $4.48. Again, I would expect to find this at the dollar store. Yeah. Here. So, so far not impressed. You have a, you have a pet thing. So I do have another pet thing. I've been looking for one of these on Amazon actually, and usually they're like $25. So it's a little gadget you can use to put, you attach it to your hose, and then you put it on your hand and it sprays water out of it to like bathe your dog. And I've always wanted one of these and I keep seeing them. And so I got this one for also zero dollars and zero cents. And I opened it up and it looks like it's gonna work. I haven't attached it to anything yet. It comes with all of these like, oh, all of these attachments. I don't know how to work it, but I mean, it looks like it's gonna work. It looks like it could. I would assume it's gonna work. Okay, these are their men's running shoes. Oh, those actually don't look bad. These were $11. Um, I don't know how long they'd last. There is, there, the sole is, is pretty, not, I mean, it's not, it's, this isn't Nike, but they're not bad. No, they like smell like said. new shoes. They do, and they, uh, for 11 bucks, that's a, that's a pretty good price on shoes. Now, again, not sure how long they'll last. Maybe they'll last longer than other shoes, I don't know. So one of the other things I was excited about was I got a hoodie, and okay, this hoodie was one of the things, okay, just kidding, I, this hoodie was free. <laughs> this hoodie was also $0. Everything's free. <laughs> and zero cents. So it's actually not that bad. Like, it's blank on the front, and I like the color and then it has like a little design on the back. And I mean, it looks like a nice hoodie. It's very much the same kind of fabric as oh, a t-shirt. Oh, that does look, yeah. Yeah, but it's like light, you know, it's not too thick and I don't know, it looks good to me. I'm always happy with free stuff, so <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. It's not too bad. I have no idea what this is. Okay. It looks like a cape, but I didn't order a cape. Does it go? Is this like a blanket that you stick your feet it in? It looks like a rain poncho. Um, I ordered a mummy bag. I don't think it's that. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know, what, I don't this know what this is. <laughs> Wait, what was that right there? Oh, those are shoes. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so far, Caitlin has had a, a far better experience than me. I don't know what this is. It looks like a grill cover. Does it not? It, it could be a grill cover. It could be a blanket where you tuck in your feet. This is not a blanket, though. It's like though. plastic. This is, um, <laughs> oh, you can tighten it right here. Yeah, unless that is an accessory to something else. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. 
Yeah. All right. We've got, okay, this is what my kids really wanted. This is Kirby, I think. That's cute. And we were wondering how legit it would look. J uh, Jordan, it looks pretty legit, doesn't it? Yeah, I think so. Jordan's into. <laughs> it's like Kirby, he's got Link stuff going on. Yeah, I'd give this a gift. So this was $4. Does Kirby usually hold a sword? Um, he has powers that allow. Oh, okay. oh, I thought it was a banana. <laughs> 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 what? My kids are gonna, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I edit that out. Anyway, um, these, from what I understand, stuffies like this can be like 20 bucks, get their yeah. name brand. The brand on this is, oh, it does say copyright Nintendo. Oh, that's it weird. says it right there. It's so, Kirby too. Yeah, I don't know if that's legit. That's weird. One of the other things that I was really excited about was this phone charger. It's a three-in-one phone charger. Mm. So you can do your AirPods and your watch and your phone on it. And I did test this one out when I first opened this at home and it fully works. It charged everything at once. It has a little blue light on here that turns on. It worked perfectly and it charged pretty fast. So I was actually pretty stoked. I mean, you can assume what it, what it looks like, but. Yeah, speaking of charging, this is a power strip that was $10. Very basic, but it has USB and the plugs. I'm assuming it works. I would assume that works. I yeah. don't know what these retail for, like at, at the store. It might be pretty comparable. It has USB things on the bottom. It too. does That's have nice. USB, which is nice. So made in China. Of course, all this is made in China, but it is an American plug-in. That's pretty nice. Um, I also got this hair scarf because I wanted to see how silky it would be. It is very silky, but it is also very small. <laughs> the intent was to wrap it around my hair. It's not quite big enough. So, if anybody, maybe Emmy would need it. Maybe, oh, she maybe might a small yeah. for Emmy. We'll give it to Emmy. And uh, speaking of Emmy, our kids, and speaking of Sonic, these are cartoon toys. They're minifigures. I'm not going to open this, but they look legit. Like, we were wondered how, wondered how they look. This was $5.48. So here's a bunch of Sonic characters that, so far, the Sonic and this have been, been our winners and the power strip. Those are cool looking. Everybody in our newsroom loves pens. Let's go. So <laughs> these gel pens were two bucks. We're gonna pass them out. We'll see who's last the longest. <laughs> Test two gel pens. Guess That's where they were cool. made? China. China, yep. <laughs> I don't know what this is. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like something you put on the end of like a mop, like a squeegee thing. Oh, okay, yeah, that might be, that is probably part of this. So this is oh. a, like an extender thing. Did you see this? This was all over the site when I went to order. It, it like you set up, a wand and you stick something on the end. Oh yeah, it's a window cleaning brush set. This was 88 cents. Wow. So you're supposed to put this on there and then it can clean the inside of your car window. Oh, from like the inside. From the inside, okay. like your, like a windshield, so. That's cool. If you have a dog that sticks their nose up there or something. We got a, I got a, a charger like Caitlin, $2.48, four in one USB car charger. So you can stick in four USBs in the car. Haven't tried it. That's cool. I got a, Shooter. Spider-Man something? Oh yeah, a Spider-Man uh, dart shooter thing. This was... That will need to leave the office immediately. <laughs> yes. $3.98. You wear a glove and you shoot You shoot. Uh, That's cool, things. actually. Yeah. They have a lot of toys on this website, which I've always, I was kind of shocked about. Yeah, what else do you have? So this is probably my favorite thing I got because I don't understand it. So I ordered a backpack. First I'll tell you how much the backpack was. The backpack was $14.99. And I'm gonna cover it, the front, for the big reveal. So it's a nice backpack. It's like white and it has all of these pockets which I was super stoked about and they all work and you know, it looks like a pretty good backpack. And then you read the front and it says, fashion, I meet you, Avra Levin. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Well, yeah, what does that I mean, I thought Caitlin? it meant Avra Levine, like the singer, and I Googled it and Avra Levine comes up. So I don't know what reference this backpack has to Adam or Avril Lavigne. You could I'm be excited. setting a trend with that. I like Avril Lavigne. That's okay with me. Okay, I'm gonna see if this works. <laughs> Nate, come here. You're gonna be the test dummy. You're gonna be the. <laughs> okay, how do you fire it though? I think you have to oh, put like it on. Oh, oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, it shot. Okay, one more time, Jordan. Are you rolling? Oh no, that didn't, oh, maybe I have to pull this back yeah. with my Spider-Man glove. Okay, ready? <laughs> <laughs> there is not much firepower there. <laughs> but the, the That glove was a good six helps. feet. That wasn't yeah. that bad. Yeah, you can't hit anybody. The last thing I got was kind of like a weird practical thing. 
I've always wanted someone to put baseball caps that weren't just thrown about. And so I got this thing where you connect it onto a hanger. Oh. And then you clip your baseball caps onto it, like right here. So you just clip the baseball cap like that, and they all stick on there. And this thing was zero dollars and zero cents. And I'm so excited to use it. I can put all my East Idaho news hats on it. <laughs> so total, what did you pay for all this? Total, I paid 50, well, plus the three things that weren't here, which are an iPad pencil, a dog toy, and a, oh, and a watercolor set, which I did receive, but I just forgot at home. And they all were free. Uh, scratch that. Actually, the one thing I did pay for was, no, I was right. They were all free and they all worked. The dog toy was awesome. It moved around and I took the battery out afterwards because I was scared of giving it to my dog with a battery in it. Mm -hmm. But it all worked and it was all pretty good. So $50 for 16 things, which I'm not mad at. I think most of it works that's pretty good. Not, that's not bad. You, I, I think you had great luck. This is a lamp that was $3. I oh, don't know. Bent. Oh, it is bent. I, I think it goes like this, but I don't know what kind of light bulb that takes. I don't either. Anybody know? I think that's LED, just LED. An LED light? The, uh, the, all of the instructions are in Chinese. You cannot, there's no English. I bet I could plug that into my laptop and see if it plugs in. Oh, you're right, and yeah. it's a USB, so it's not a, it's not a plug-in. You could put a box on it, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, it might be like good for the kids' room. Again, it was $3. It came in this box. Uh, some more toys. Legos. Lego toys, yeah, multiple pieces here. And this was, uh, my wife told me that the retail for this was a lot higher. Let me check for you. Um, the lamp, w oh, sorry, the lamp was $10. I would not spend $10 on that. I, I mean, I did, but <laughs> in the future, I wouldn't. Um, uh, this was uh, for journalistic purposes. Yes, for the for the purpose <laughs> of this story, six bucks, and this is twenty three pieces for Minecraft. My kids love Minecraft, okay. so it's it's a, it, that's a good price from what I understand. These are scrubbing brushes that were two bucks, two dollars and forty eight cents. That's a and great there's, deal. There's twelve of them, so and they they seem like the brand name that you would get at the store. Um, this is oh, a little. Not a Nintendo, but an entertainment <laughs> system. 624 classic games built into this. Do you think it works? We should try it. Let me see how much I paid for it, though. Guess. Uh, $12. Close, 14. <gasps> oh, yeah, I mean, oh, it, ha it, totally it has the, 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 gener the controllers. It has two controllers, too. You can play with your friends. Yeah, and then the, here's the little, the little GameCube. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, I, yeah. Wait, where's the screen though? Well, you plug it into your TV. Oh, oh. Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> and so used to screens. So I don't know. That could, and they have a list of all of the games, and it's in English Warrior, AM Cruise, Block World, Buggy Bar. Never heard of any of those? No. So that, was, that one was fun. Right oh, we there. talked about this. We talked about. This is, oh, this is a bag. Wind blows, river flows, <laughs> created by travel. This was a, a double bag. just for the phrases. <laughs> wow, very, that smells crazy. <laughs> very thin material. And I bet I would zip this once and it would break. Yeah. Um, and the, the duffel bag, this was $6. Okay, here's my one free item. She got. I got 13. 13, I got one. <laughs> and you also got the coupon? I got like 17 coupons, yeah. Okay, this is just a polo men's shirt. Well, it looks pretty nice. So this was free. They threw it in completely free. Oh, it's soft. Yeah, it's soft. It's not bad material. It looks a little frayed here. Um, again, it doesn't. It just says large. There's some strings coming off, but nothing too bad. I would wear this. Yeah. Yeah, that's not bad. Um, okay, here is some. I'm not going to open these, but they're vinyl things that like say love, laugh, whatever. Family, no, it says family. And how much were those? This was six seventy-eight. Oh, so okay. they look like like you would pull them out and put them on your wall. It's three different panels. It says okay, family across it. That's yes. Um, okay, here's another men's shirt that we got. Um, little astronaut dude. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. The this, print is a little small for the T-shirt. I feel like. This is a large. Again, same material. And this was, um, how much was this? $4. Wow. Trendy tea. Trendy tea. <laughs> trendy tea. And here's another trendy tea. 
because I'm so trendy. <laughs> oh my, I can smell it over here. <laughs> and our can colleague you? over here says he can smell the items, and he's across. He's like 10, 15 That tote bag especially. Okay, the last thing in this package is, oh, this was a drill that you hook in to scrub stuff. I just don't know where the drill is. Do you hook that into your own drill? I believe so. Okay. So if you need to do a deep scrub on something, you How can do that. How much is that? that I feel like something like that would be so expensive if you were to get it at like Ace Hardware or something. It, yeah, it probably would be. That was $6.48. There's like four, three of them in there. That's crazy. I'm still waiting on a mini photo printer and a that watch. So those are the two things like we actually really wanted. All of this was, what what I say, $78? I think so. Um, would you order again, Caitlin? Um, I, I think I would if I needed something really specific. I worry about maybe where it's coming from <laughs> sometimes. Yes. But I think overall, like the quality is really good and it came really fast. And also the things that you haven't gotten, they said they'd give you a credit back if it wasn't here before your delivery date. So you'll probably end up getting credit back anyway. Yeah, so I'm, I'll probably get a $5 credit. This is, oh, another, this was a workout shirt, which isn't bad. Oh, that's nice. I would wear this. That actually is really soft. And then here's some nose wax kits. Like if you're interested. Like in comments if you want Nate to do it on camera. Oh, yes. <laughs> With the nose wax, that's what are these? <laughs> uh, <laughs> dippers. <laughs> so <laughs> these were like $2. And I don't know what these would retail for. Hey, this is probably an English so expensive. though. Oh, it is, yeah. So you can for men understand and it. women. <laughs> not suitable for parts, parts of the body. <laughs> Usable, suitable parts, not suitable parts. It we won't go through four that. weeks. <laughs> four weeks. All right, I'm gonna have a fresh nose tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, no. So, Tamu, I don't know if I do it again. I think you said like I went on this morning to look for a shoelace. It wouldn't fit my shoe. Um, it's not bad. It wasn't like Amazon Prime where you get it like two no. days later. Uh, would it take a week or two? Yeah, I think it took probably a week and a half about. And then even then it said it was going to become come between a series of six days. So they gave themselves quite a range for it to get here, which is like not that bad, but. And you saw how it arrived. It arrives just in this big orange package. Bag. Yeah. And oh, I will say very, very good at notifying. That's another thing, yeah. I was constantly getting text messages about where it was. Yeah, your package is on the way. Your package has been delivered. Review your package. It's in Salt Lake City. It's on your doorstep. Yeah, they say the company's based in Boston. Yeah, except my package came from Ontario. So I don't know exactly. <laughs> and mine came from... Uh, I don't know. Where did it say Ontario? Just on CNE Express. Is that Canada, Nate? CNE Express? Yeah, I don't know where this came from. Yeah. I would think America, but I don't know. Um, okay, thank you for watching this. This came from Chester Road too. I think I Googled this and it's in Ontario. Oh, okay. Yeah. So maybe, they, maybe they're based in Canada. Um, again, use it at your own discretion. We're not endorsing or speaking against it. We just wanted to show you a generic idea of what type of stuff they have. Some very useful, some might be fun, some a lot cheaper than elsewhere, and then some you'd say, why did I waste my money on that? At least in <laughs> our in our yeah, experience. Yeah, opinion, yeah. And if you want to check out the app, we'll put a link in the store. You can go check it out. Um, I think it's app only. Yeah, I think so. And if you've made it this far in watching us unwrap our packages, thank you. <laughs> thank you. See ya.